Hey all, just wanted to provide a uh, quick update on the status of physics, because I said this was coming out at the end of the month, and that's uh, getting a little close. Now, I do still tend to have physics out by the end of June. If I need more time, I am going to take it, because I don't want a Sonic 06 mod to end up rushed. That would just be a crazy bit of irony. <laughs> uh, but now things are still coming along pretty well. I just wanted to provide the status update on why it's still taking as long as it is. Because as you'll see from the footage here, and as you may have seen from uh, like Stomo streams, or I think the playtesters have put out a video or two as well, the physics look done, they look completed, and they pretty much are. I mean, the entire game is playable from start to finish. Not everything is 100% perfect, nothing is, and there are still tweaks I'm making fairly often. Uh, little issues with the original game I'm still patching, like Shadow can now homing attack into a wall run now. In the original game, only Sonic can do that, for some reason, so that's fixed. Just a few miscellaneous things like that. However, there's more in the mod than just physics, and there has been for uh, the majority of development. Just little things that either come up that are like tangentially related, uh, such as the maturity system on gems. I wanted gems to have good physics interactions, so while I was working on them, I figured I could probably bundle in a maturity meter restoration there. Then I thought, well, I've come this far, may as well put Super Sonic in the game. So the Rainbow Gen became functional. But even with that leeway I've given myself, there are a few features that I think are very fun, very cool, and very worthwhile to have, but that definitely don't meet the criteria of physics. I think this mod is going to have a fair few people playing Sonic 06 for the first time, or for the first time in a long time, so I'd like to smooth out as many issues with the original game as possible. For example, uh, medals. There are about 380 silver medals and 180 gold medals in the game. And if you collect them all, you get nothing. In fact, the medals do absolutely nothing at every single point. There, there's no reason to collect any of them, and I think that's a shame. So what you're seeing on screen right now is the jukebox. I was digging through the files, and it turns out there are a lot of cut entries in the shop or things that you could buy, including music from past games in the series. Now, I think those probably would have just gone in the sound test, but I thought it would be pretty cool if I turned it into a future. Give you a jukebox that you could use to customize the music in every area of every stage, including bosses and the hub worlds. So, I did that. Uh, that's currently tied to getting gold medals. The songs available are different between the three hedgehogs, but it all goes in a global pool, so once you unlock them, it's unlocked for all three and stages are not configured on a per-hedgehog basis. What change applies to one applies to all of them. But yeah, that just gives you a little more reason to seek them out. For silver medals, I might do stuff like put Sonic's gems behind them. I think that would be a more natural way to unlock those abilities, but uh, we'll see. Anyways, so that's part of the companion mod. And I figured if I have all this additional stuff in the shop, you probably need more ways to get rings. So once again, looking at cut content, Sonic 06 was meant to have the Sonic Adventure 2 missions, which, for those who don't know, every level in Sonic Adventure 2 has five additional missions you can play. Typically, these are clear the stage, get 100 rings, clear it within a time limit, find Lost Chow, and clear hard mode. Uh, Sonic 06 is a little bit different. There are references to finding Chow, but the main one is defeat a certain number of enemies. So, I did that. that. That's a mechanic now. Whenever you clear a stage, its mirror will stay in the hub world. Aside from Crisis City and Flame Core, they do have mirrors, but I have them accessible in a different manner, which eh, you'll find out. It, it makes sense. Intuitive enough. But uh, yeah, you can just go up to the mirror, and it'll give you a mission select. They all have their own independent rankings. There isn't currently any particular reward. Or getting like an S rank on everything. I may change that. We'll see. For now, it's just a fun little metric to track. But yeah, more ways to get rings. More stuff in the shop. 
And there's one more main thing that I want to add with this. Uh, that is the last piece of major content that I need to do before I can start on the uh, background, like behind the scenes stuff, just getting everything ready for launch for physics. And that is the Rainbow Gem. So it's in the game. Supersonic works, he's fully functional, but there's no way to get the gem itself without, like, save data editing. And I think that's a shame. Now, the easiest way would be to just put it behind S-ranking a specific stage, like End of the World, or getting maybe all of Sonic's S-ranks, maybe even 180 gold medals, but I don't think either of those are very fun. They work, they're the most straightforward way, but I don't know, I, I want to do something special. I got some ideas in mind, uh, honestly I kind of just want to flex with it a little bit. So that's the last piece of content, I'm not going to spoil exactly what I have in mind, but we'll have that out hopefully done within the next couple days. But yeah, that's the only other major piece of content. Once that's done, I can start in on the behind the scenes work. The stuff that uh, the end user isn't going to notice, but if you're a mod developer, you will be very interested in. So physics itself has a lot of cool features. I wrote systems that let me essentially add new states or even make custom characters, like mock speed in physics isn't just an edit of the existing mock speed. I pretty much entirely threw them out uh, and just rewrote them from scratch. Almost every single state you see in there. I think the only exceptions are like rings and jump panels, so automation uh, is redone from scratch. So I have a system that lets you do that pretty easily. You don't have to know a lot of codes to work with it. And there are all sorts of other things. Physics only works because of Raison's DLL, which is a system for code injection. And the main thing that offers is the ability to manipulate pointer data through Lua. If you don't know what those words mean, that's fine. It's kind of complicated to use. There's a lot of reverse engineering you need to do to get anything done with that, and Ray has been the primary force behind that. I'll go up to him and be like, hey, can we get a, a function to do this? Like, can we change the time of day? And he goes, yeah, and then makes it, and that's insane. Or I go, uh, hey, can we, like, swap player animations at runtime? And it goes, yeah and figures out exactly what you need to add, it, and it's great. I'm a little bit of reverse engineering as well for this project, but nothing compared to what he's done. But anyways, what I've done is make a series of scripts, essentially a modding library, uh, kind of like the HMM codes used in Sonic Frontiers, and I've called it Kronos. This will be a separate mod that will be released, and anyone can use. The idea is that you have that, and other mods are also, you know, expected to be built off of that. So, you just install Kronos, and then if you want to work with it, you make your own mod. You include, like, one line of code to load the Kronos stuff, maybe. Or, you know, just rely on having Kronos installed, and then you can use all those functions. Instead of needing to know all these offsets to modify player speed, there's just one function you can call. You can just call set player speed and give the value, and it works. Stuff like that. I need to do a few additional tweaks to that. Uh, just refactor the code a little bit, add some better documentation, make it more user-friendly. I need to do that before release, and I absolutely have to have that one done, uh, because if I ship physics with Kronos already built into it, then that kind of ruins the entire system, and can't have that. So that's the other major one. The last thing is the configuration system for physics itself. The idea is, if you want to make tweaks to physics for your own mod, like if you did a import of a Sonic Adventure stage and the physics aren't quite working how you want, you don't need to include an entire build of physics to change that. You can just drop in a file, uh, write like one line of code saying, hey, load this physics file, and when the player loads into the stage, it'll use that. If you are just a, a normal end user, then there will also be a configuration file for you to go to. Maybe you don't like how much height Sonic gets off of slope jumps. 
you can change that. Maybe you want the drop dash disabled for whatever reason. You can do that too. Uh, I think I may allow tweaking it on a per mod basis in addition to per stage, but we'll see. I don't think this is going to be super hard to set up because I've had this idea in mind from pretty much day one, and just about everything I've done has been written with that in mind. I have a version of it working already. It's made uh, testing things much, much faster because I don't have to close the game out to tweak values. But I do need to polish the system up a bit more. Again, make it usable <laughs> without knowing a ton of the internals of the mod. Just make it nicer to use. Make it easier. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. To recap. Physics themselves, good to go. Game works. It's fun. Uh, honestly, I'm very happy with how they've turned out. Companion mod has a lot of things that I think are good, that I think are cool restorations or new features, but that definitely don't fit within the purview of physics. So, that one is also pretty much done, uh, just needs a few more tweaks and need to figure out what to do with Rainbow Gem. And then there's the back end, which is getting Kronos ready to ship uh, for a little bit of refactoring and finishing up the configuration system. Can I do it all within a week? Or six days at this point, I guess. Uh, probably. I definitely need to have this done before June... Sorry, not June. Uh, July 5th, because I will be attending the Games Done Quick event. But, yeah. I think I can do it. If not, I'll let you know. This mod is coming out very soon. I've, I've been working on this for about a year and a half, I think. Maybe a little longer? Good gosh. Uh, I don't like having mod projects in development for more than a year, so believe me, I'm trying to get this thing out. But I want it to be good. I'm definitely going to keep doing tweaks to it down the road, but I want a good initial release, you know? I think it's fun. I want other people to enjoy this. I don't want to put a bad product out. But yeah, that's about it. See ya.